Hey everybody, welcome into Shop NBC, and let's talk about watches for a couple of hours. Actually, we're going to talk about watches for another four hours because I'll do a couple for you guys. Jim's coming up a bit later on. Um, obviously, a lot of you guys are looking forward to the uh, what I'm sure is going to be a very brief debut of the Sterling Torbion. That's coming up, but between now and then, this is quite the show. I mean, I mean who don't we have here? We have Wing Lang. Um, we have uh, your friend and mine, Craig Hester, the watch industry's favorite comrade. Uh, the, uh, tonight, of course, is debuting those very collectible hand-built uh, Russian watches. We have Daniel Mink from Renato. We have Michael Davison from Renato. And I know I'm leaving people out. Juan, Juan thank you. Juan, uh, Juan uh, Davies Lopez is here. And I still think I'm leaving somebody out. We are loaded, loaded with guests. This is an enterprise of just 28636 with six value pays. Many of you, of course, recognize the legendary Renato T-Rex, your choice of colors of black, purple, blue, or silver in that particular Swiss chronograph. Now, because this is the collector series, as I was just talking about, you're gonna see a lot of guests, a lot of different sizes and price points and styles. I'm excited about this, $7,600 watch. That is a handmade, pure, Swiss moon phase with day date and uh, sweep second, and I think I'm leaving something out. Phenomenal, just exquisite, hand done, of course, decoration across the engine of that watch. This is not just at dealer cost, this is below dealer cost. $22.49 on a once only price. That means you will never get an offer that low at that watch with Shop NBC again. Please take advantage of these special offers tonight. Or this one, I was just talking with uh, Michael just the other day about this one. Uh, very, very exciting, the debut of the of the three, I should say the more accurately, the newer 360 that's coming up. Uh, apply for the Shop NBC card today, why? Because you make a purchase of $25 or more, which you will on this show, almost guarantee, and you'll receive a $25 statement credit. So if you don't yet have a card, give us a shout, ask your phone representative how you two may qualify. Now. You can also check out uh, shopnbc.com, and there's hundreds and hundreds, actually take that back, there's thousands of different things you can pick from on shopnbc.com, and you can check out uh, the different advantages of the uh, of the card, so please do. All right, we gotta get uh, underway, and uh, indeed, there's much to discuss. The first of many, many guests this evening, Larry and Megan joining us. Hey, first Big all, Tim. Man, great to do a show with you again. Great to see you. it's been a little bit of a while, and what a great, exciting event this is uh, here tonight with all the watch companies. Uh, love to do our part, and we're bringing it tonight, Tim. You know, you really have, and again, uh, kudos to the uh, Emperor uh, last hour. Thank I, you. I'm just, I wish I could expound further on that, but that's such a gorgeous watch. And this one is no slouch either. Right. Check this out, guys. Discover price of 99.67. And what wow. we're talking about is, uh, first of all, it's the OS20 movement, and we're talking about the combination where you can own a chronograph and a very well-made timepiece presented on, uh, which I think is a great touch from you guys, the contrast stitching, uh, in this case, the polyurethane strap, but still with a handset back. It's a classic round case, but with that new, very, if you're familiar with the higher-end watches, that high-end kind of a contemporary twist, exquisite detail in the dials, and of course, Larry, it's no uh, secret to anybody that's a fan, as am I, of Sterling. You guys are so famous for your dials. Absolutely, and here on this particular dial, uh, all those elements are there, Tim. Uh, here we've done it with multiple components, multiple layers. You see the uh, the subdial rings at 3 and 9 o'clock, those are separate rings applied to the dial. All those baton indices are individually applied once again to the dial. They're actually done with little pegs that go through the dial and then sealed on the backside. But you see the craftsmanship and the engineering that even goes around the case with the bezel and the Sterling Signature S screw heads uh, that were, uh, has become a trademark for us. We don't do it on every model, but uh, we're doing it on a lot. And here with this watch collector's event, here is an opportunity right now to pick up a great everyday sports watch on a rubber strap, Citizen, as you pointed out, Tim, Citizen Miyota OS20, very, mm -hmm. very reliable quartz Absolutely chronograph uh, movement, which is a great for everyday wear. And it's in a nice 46 millimeter case design, Tim. So it's not, uh, you know, 38 or 40, but mm -hmm. it's not 50 or 52. It's got that sweet spot, I think, for everybody. I can't wait to put one on my wrist, Tim. Yeah, and I, I uh, have to absolutely agree with you about that 46 because it's something that I love talking about on the show. And it's a lot of fun to show the bigger watches, and indeed you build some of them, and we have them coming up uh, in the next few minutes. But the, the thing about getting in kind of that mid-range where you're looking at the, the 42s, 44s, 46s, is that they are an established classic size, and there's always going to be a market for a classic. So if you're looking for, frankly, a, a very cool watch, you choose either, in this instance, between the rose tone uh, or the black. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can choose a little bit more dressy, a little bit more sporty. When you're in that 46 millimeter, 
you've got something that, as you rightly point out, it's going to be large, it's going to have a power statement, but it's not going to be really ostentatious, it's not going to be over the top, and you're, you're going to have, I think it's less likely to become trendy. Yeah, I would say this, guys, probably, and gals, uh, probably the choice here would be the black, because that's going to be your everyday, go with everything, no matter what you're wearing, jeans and a t-shirt, wear it with a polo shirt, wear it with a suit, wear it to the office. The black's going to go with everything. Now, if you want the rose tone to dress it up a little bit, because you've got this great uh, discover opportunity here with this, uh, you know, the, the payment options is just a great value here, then I think the rose gold will give you a little bit of a dressier look, Tim. Oh, no doubt. And for those of you not familiar with rose gold, the big deal about it is when you're looking at very high-end watches, let's say, I don't know, $30,000 and up, for example, and in some cases even lower than that, when you are seeing solid gold watches, let's say one is built in yellow gold, but the absolutely identical watch, no difference whatsoever, except they move from yellow gold to rose gold, a lot of times they're expecting the collectors are going to be spending anywhere from 2 to 3 percent, and the highest I've seen is about 11 to 13 percent, just to change the color of the gold. So it's kind of infamous, if you will, or famous, I guess, depending on how you want to call that, in the luxury watch industry. And I think what Sterling has done here, very rightly so, is you guys have capitalized on that perceived additional opulence and value by giving, in this case, the viewer the opportunity to own the look of solid 18 karat gold, but uh, obviously without the, the, the price tag, by doing some very, very accurate and very quality layering. And let's not forget, uh, it's hard to, to you know, recognize, but under $100, not only are you having a quartz, but it's a quartz chronograph. You're getting a citizen quartz chronograph, which is very, very reliable. You just slap it on and off you go. You pick it up, you throw it in the drawer for two months, you pick it up, it's going to be right on the money. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's just a tremendous value opportunity here. And you'll notice on the rose tone, you've got that blue uh, stop center sweep second hand. And on the black, what I like about the black one, Tim, I like the red contrast stitching. I, I, I agree. In fact, that's one of the reasons I was pointing that out early on, because you're one of the few companies, especially in my experience in this price range, that is taking the time and trouble and, frankly, the expense uh, to do that. So let me show you guys at home what, what we're uh, referring to. When you look at uh, either of these straps, and it's existing, by the way, in both. In fact, in this shot, if you look carefully, you can really see it. What uh, Sterling has done is that you've got, of course, this really cool, great, kind of a double-layered uh, strap, right? And a lot of you guys will recognize the poly material, which on many pieces, ranging from mid-range to high-end now, has become, as many of you know, very popular. Now, here's what they do that, that's a bit extra, is that they've added this contrast stitching. Now, I happen to have the one here that's done in black. Now, when you look at this one, what is the big power color on the dial? Well, that is a racing red. You can see it, for example, here in the 12. You'll see it in a lot of the second indices and so on and so forth, right? And in, in this hand and so on. Okay, you take this color, you take that Pantone, you match exactly in the thread that's been stitched into the strap. And if you look at the strap, even from the back, I'll show you two key things. One, that that contrast color comes all the way through. It's a true stitch. It's not pseudo or painted or anything. And the other is across the back of this, you can see where they've actually got the troughs that are physically in, I don't say engraved, but they're, they're basically molded into the poly material, which of course, as you obviously know, Larry, this means that it wicks away moisture, it means it's going to be very comfortable and a great sign of quality. And did you notice the case integration of the rubber strap? Seamless. There's no gap uh, on, at the lugs, Tim. And also handset with the screws in the corners. You guys did a brilliant job on this. And you, you rightly point out that this OS20 engine, for those of you not familiar, basically it means it runs on a battery. You put a battery in this thing, I guess every three years or so, depending on how much you use the chronograph. It's deadly accurate, it's rock solid, and it looks amazing. And you guys can own this at just $99.67. And with four interest-free payments, you can get it home for as little as $24.92 plus the shipping. So pretty cool things going on there. Last call is on that V94. Try to try that again. V91412 to take advantage of that one. And let's take a look at some other pieces. Now, this next one that we're going to see is an exhibition back automatic. And I can still remember when you guys were one of the, if not the first, uh, company to actually take these dials that run on, on a horizontal concept and to make them affordable in a mechanical automatic. Sure. We're not going to do a whole lot, a lot of clearance tonight, guys. I'll just tell you flat out. This is going to be a great example where you can. Classic 42 millimeter size. Do you want it done in the uh, silver dial with the uh, polished steel? Do you want it in the rose tone? Or do you want it in the black? 
classic 42 millimeter case, classic, uh, obviously, the uh, dress watch. I love, by the way, that gear edge you guys had. A right. beautiful, uh, I, I think, uh, approach to, I guess we could call it almost an, an opulent based on the concept from within a six figure watch industry. Yeah. Uh, this is a gorgeous watch. And again, to reiterate for everybody at home, this is not a quartz movement doing this. And there are some on the market, of course, that will. This is hand-built mechanical automatic. Back to, I think, one of your fortes. You are so correct, Tim. Uh, this is a super value opportunity right here. It's not just a mechanical automatic. It is a mechanical automatic timepiece that is a master calendar. Now, which a master calendar means you get the day, the date, and the month. And look how it's done with those three subdials running across in a horizontal uh, fashion. Uh, very unusual to see subdials with that kind of a configuration. If you take a look at the subdial over there at the 8 o'clock position, that is actually your month of the year. You'll notice that that subdial is numbered 1 to 12. So March would be 3, April would be 4. Then, of course, in the center of your dial, okay, that is going to be your... Is that a 24-hour indicator, Tim? I believe so. Okay. And, yes, yeah, a 24-hour indicator in the center of the dial, so it gives you that, uh, that reading for a.m., p.m. And then on the right-hand side, that is your day of the week. And typically you're going to see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Here you've got the Sunday at the top, and then the, day, the, day is, the days of the week, excuse me, are numbered. One would be Monday and so forth. So you have a master calendar operating off of a single mainspring. And, again, look at this clearance opportunity. Now, you were re referring to the... Uh, you know, the edge of the bezel there. Yes. We call that a crenellated bezel. Uh, what that uh, means, if you look everything about the Louis, this is our Louis. It's got that medieval styling. Uh, you see the sword blade hands, the crenellated bezel, like, uh, you know, the castle tops where they had the crenellated tops of the mm -hmm. castles where they would have to stick their heads out and shoot the bows and arrows and all that kind of stuff. So you have the crenellated bezel. This is the Louis, uh, one of our best. And I heard you uh, reading off the card or, or saying the card was telling you 42. Mm -hmm. It, it may, very well may be a 42, but in my mind, somewhere in the back of my mind, I was remembering this as a 43. But either way, 42, oh, 43. Abouts. Yeah, so uh, I think it's just a hair bigger. But very, very classy and very, very dressy. This is a boardroom style piece, guys. And I love the recessed pushers because the recessed pushers uh, don't interrupt, of course, the integrity of the original round case. I think that makes a lot of sense to do here. I, I need to also let you guys know at home, as far as this clearance is concerned, this is the last chance this is the final airing of this item end of story if you want one of these i need to hear from you right now or you're not going to be able to get one yeah uh, it's 109.39. It's a massive clearance price down from our regular, as you can see, of $150. You just need to decide if you need to get in on the silver dial. You can see this, the, the, for example, the silver with the gold is sold out. And still get the black with the rose, the straight ahead black, kind of a stress sport, or the uh, silver on silver. V90473. And it is a last chance opportunity again on, uh, on that one. Now, I will give you a kind of a heads up on, uh, on this uh, next guy. Uh, this is another last chance opportunity. It is a clearance. Here's another chance where you can really, frankly, save a, a huge amount of money, get in on a really cool watch, and you are getting, by the way, a phenomenal uh, savings. If you, if you run the math on that, just look at the regular price of 207 uh, and then down to this clearance. It's another 37% off. This is actually a double engine watch if memory serves because you guys are doing both the quartz as well as the automatic right. so very quickly to identify what that is because it's done uh, first of all in kind of this retro futuristic what they call the tv styled uh, case and there's a couple other uh, names for it um reminiscent if you remember the older 50 crt tvs okay so you've got obviously two dials right you've got one the larger here now that is done in a mechanical automatic this one is a quartz engine and it's got its own separate crown as you'll see down here so you can actually offset them now sure most of you would just set you know number of hours but if you needed to set one literally within x minutes of one another uh you can certainly uh do that and there are a few time zones around the world where that's actually required so if that that's applied right. to you uh you can or if you just like for example one of the tricks i like to do is set one of them just slightly early because it makes me get to places earlier on time um, that works for me. I don't know if it'll, it'll work for somebody else, but it, um, the, the point is you've got the versatility. So we talk about the advantages of quartz. We talk about the advantages and the, the luxury of mechanical automatic. And here you guys have put the two of them into a common watch. 
Absolutely. This is in the business. Uh, you're so right, Tim. This is referred to as what they call an auto quartz. You have an automatic movement, mechanical automatic, and a quartz movement all in one case. Now, in order to accommodate that, you're actually using a more expensive automatic movement. You're using a smaller version, typically what would be used in a ladies' mechanical automatic, in order to accommodate both movements to fit inside the case. And you saw a nice little shot when Tim was showing you the back here. But this is so fitting uh, to put in a collector's special event because this really is a collector's kind of a piece. This isn't for everybody, but if you're into collecting watches, ask yourself this, do I own a, a, an auto quartz? Do I own a watch that has an automatic and a quartz movement in the same watch? Chances are you probably don't, although there, I'm sure there are some guys out there that you know may have one, but it's a collector's kind of a thing to say, I've got an auto quartz in my collection, Tim. And you look at this from an artistic standpoint, what you guys were able to deliver. And this, by the way, we're down to single digits if you want the, the blue here. And again, I identify them as blue, gray, or black to make sure everybody's ordering correctly. I'm wearing the black. Uh, Larry's got the gray, which you'll see in a second. Look and at the, the gray. Blue, of course, we just did. The gray is really gorgeous. Look at this. I, I, I will tell you that. But here's, here's the, the point I want to make. I love what you guys did with the Roman numerals. Now, yeah. check this out at home, and I'm sure a lot of you have already picked up on this. But you've got more of your classic hand-applied Roman numerals on the dial, but not the entire dial. Then you'll right. notice that the whole thing is basically offset within this custom design case. And what Sterling did is they've had the, uh, the, mm -hmm. the Roman numerals engraved. So you mm -hmm. see, obviously, where it departs, the dial picks right up on the engraving into the 316L steel. I, I think that's a beautiful, kind of a high-end luxury touch, a great idea. Yeah, they're debossed right into the case. You're absolutely right, Tim. Excellent uh, catch on your part. It's kind of subliminal, actually. If you, don't, if you don't do a double take and look real close, you might not catch it, but Tim's right. You have the 11 through the, uh, through the four on the dial, and the five through the 10 is actually on the bezel. Uh, nice catch there. But this battleship gray, Tim, uh, this will go with gorgeous. everything. Absolutely gorgeous. I've seen you guys do some phenomenal work uh, historically in the gray series. It's also been one of my favorite colors that you guys work in. And here's another example of why that is. And one of the reasons I like the gray is I find, as a rule, it tends to be wonderfully elegant and dressing. Yeah. Now, what's the number one color for elegant and dressing? I think most people would agree the black. default to black. Exactly. Okay. Here's a way to get really elegant, high-end, dressy, all these great things. Still will work with your black suit, your gray, the white, the reason most people wear black, right? But it's different. So you're at the boardroom, you're at your black tie affair, everybody else has defaulted to black, understandably, and don't take this as an knock to black, it's a classic and it's wonderful. I love the gray because it lets you do the same thing, but you stand out from the crowd. This is the last airing on this, guys. The clearance price is $129.74, our usual price is $207, and that is against a retail value of $380. Please avail yourself of this. Blue is almost sold out, the other choices are gray or black. Larry, thanks, man. Thank you, Tim. Now, Larry's gonna be back a little bit later on tonight. In fact, all my guests will, but we're going to move on and we're gonna take a look at a, a few other uh, examples, obviously. In fact, in just a few moments, We'll get to the Vostok Europe's and uh, we'll welcome the watch industry's favorite comrade out here. Here's a look at what we've seen at least a little bit of uh, so far. The Victory Chronograph. This is based on an OS20, which is a Citizen Miyota engine. Deadly accurate, rock solid. You guys own it for under 100 bucks and four interest-free payments. Your choice of the black or the rose. Now, in this one, I don't even have 50 left. In fact, if you want the black with the rose, um, there's a mere handful, basically. I think it's equally true of the black with the silver. I don't even have 50 of these to go around. This is your last shot at owning this. That is a gorgeous mechanical automatic, by the way. That is not a quartz that's doing all those tricks. It's actually a handmade mechanical engine. My name is Tim, by the While you are uh, picking out your watch here, you spend $100 or more. Is it uh, six months, I think? You guys get in $100 or more, and a lot of these watches tonight are going to be $100 or more. You can check it out. Um, also, you make a purchase of $25 or more, you get the credit and so on. A lot of details available on the website. In fact, we've got our own little card emblem there that you can click and uh, check it out. Or give us a call and have our phone reps uh, kind of walk you through it. But it's really not that big of a deal, and you're going to be very, very glad you have that card because there's all sorts of special events that we've got planned in the not-too-distant future. 
Larry, thanks again for being here, man. Here we go, Tim. Larry Megan, everybody from Sterling, who you all know and love. Let's talk about mechanical watches, the, the art of building a watch by hand and, and for the purest. Because for those of you who, do, who don't know, um, watches way before the advent of batteries and all that noise, and even before the, the automatics, they were all wound in some way, shape, or form. And some of them had keys, and some of them had the crowns and whatever. So it's still considered to the purest, if you will, the most pure of the collector. They only want the mechanical. So here is a skeletonized mechanical, and obviously we'll get more into detail as to what that means to you. Uh, this particular piece, the regular price is $230, but check this out. It's $149.35. Now listen to me, because Larry and I, we did this with a couple of watches. Say we like we sat around plotting this. That, that wasn't true. Uh, but we get to present it. This is the last time you guys have a shot at this. This is it. It's the final airing of this item. So you really need to pull the trigger. I've got three colors. We have the rose tone, obviously with the rose tone, uh, or the, ro the warmth of the rose gold, if you will. And I've got the, uh, the gold tone. And I think I've got some silver as well, I believe. Is that gone? Nope, that's gone. Sorry, you can't have that. So now we're down to the rose tone and the, the gold tone. Man, there's a whole lot to talk about, and it's the fact that the case, you know, lengthwise, you guys went to a 53 millimeter, so you got the oversize. You guys are floating uh, the numbers physically, in the, I believe, on the underside, I think it is, of, of the crystal. And then, of course, the, the art of the mechanics. I mean, you guys really, really stepped up on this thing. Well, Tim, this is our Chernabog from our Time Machine series. Uh, perfect choice, once again, for the collector's special event show, because, as you pointed out, Tim, uh, this is a throwback when... You know, a pure mechanical, not an automatic where you must wind it by the crown. Every collector, watch collector, needs to have a pure mechanical. And take a look at this particular movement right here. Many of you may have actually owned this movement. We, it's the same movement as our Brumalia, but this is the, in our Chernabog case. This is a, the Chernabog, of course, is the, just the biggest, baddest, uh, you know, evil monster that there is. It comes out at night. And this one is one big bad boy, Tim. Uh, you've got this huge pocket watch size pure mechanical. This movement is actually made to fit a pocket watch, okay? And it's put into a wristwatch. As you pointed out, Tim, 53 millimeters on this case design right here. It's got that big, large dome crystal. But once again, the highly skeletonized, pure mechanical timepiece for collectors. You see the oversized mainspring up there that you would find in a pocket watch with that large, oversized balance wheel oscillating over there at 18,000 vibrations, guys. So. Uh, this one is a real collector's piece. It's been in our uh, collection for a while. This one actually came out before the Brumalia, mm -hmm. and then we, we did the same movement in a more, let's say, uh, elegant, more boardroom style of case. But this one uh, is like a... I mean, this one is an eye grabber, Tim. It's yeah, an attention getter. It absolutely is, and it's one of the reasons, actually, I want to want to uh, turn this around because for those of you not familiar with skeletons, uh, basically it was, as I understand it, it was literally a one upsmanship that began to occur from watchmaker A to watchmaker B, and they say, well, I can make a movement and take this out. Well, okay, well, I'll do this and this and so on. And the goal was actually to ultimately create the invisible movement, which was thought impossible until uh, Rene Quentin did it with a four-engine quartz in 94, I think it was. And uh, this year, Thomas Pressure just actually did it in the mechanical automatic, and it can be yours for 300 grand. But the point is that you're getting the, the, the literal artistry of hand-making timepieces. And, and that's what I keep coming back to when I have a chance to show you a skeleton. Look and in this that. instance, both skeleton, it's a gorgeous shot in it, both yeah. the skeleton and the fact that it is a mechanical without the intrusion of the rotor. Now, for those of you who don't know what an automatic is, I'm, I'll, I'll leave that out for the time being. Suffice to say that this is the most pure form of watchmaking, and when you look at the various shots we're getting with the cameras just panning across this, keep in mind, this is from the back of the watch. Notice the hand decoration that is going on. Realistically, here's who sees it, all right? The guy that did the decoration, and obviously uh, someone at Sterling at some point, and you, the end user, that's the amount of artistry that's been applied to the back of this watch. And then, of course, you look at the equally exquisite dial work you guys did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is a great opportunity, perfect choice for a collector's special event because, again, a pure mechanical is a collector's piece. Ask yourself, do I own a pure mechanical in my collection? And then if you do, do you own one with an oversized pocket watch movement? I mean, that's what you have here. This is a big in, Tim.
You know, it really is, which obviously plays right into what's what's hot right now. What's going on in the world of watches overall, be it the luxury watches or the sport watches, and a lot of guys want the 48s, the 50s, the 52s. Here's one that measures 47 by 53. Why? Because it's a little bit of a tonneau shape, so of course, you know, they, they can't be identical. But you're talking about, I'll put it this way, if you're in the 50 millimeter realm, if that's what you like, and there's thousands of you out there that do, or women, if you're purchasing for yourself a power piece, otherwise give this to uh, the hubby, the boyfriend, whatever, he's gonna be in vogue whether he wants to be or not. One purchase, boom, done. And at a clearance price of 149.35, you get all of this kind of prestige and the luxury and the interest-free payments. Check it out for 50 bucks. Larry, thanks for being thanks, here, man. Tim. And of course, Larry's sticking we'll around because he's coming back later on tonight. And, uh, man, this is moving quickly. I've got the watch industry's favorite comrade that's going to be joining me out here in just a very few moments. That silver is gone, as you can see. I've got a handful left now in both the rose gold, meaning finished in the rose gold, or gold tone with the warmth of the yellow gold. And that uh, when it's gone, it's gone. All right, let's get to Vostok.